The Custer County Board of County Commissioners meeting will come to order. Let the record show that it is June 8th, 2018, 1 o'clock p.m. It's with a heavy heart that I call the meeting to order with my fellow commissioners today. Uh, obviously, with the passing of Mr. Butler, uh, there is a huge hole in our hearts and in our community. So, um, may he rest in peace. Amen. Yeah, great influence on our community. So, um, with that, Mrs. Riggs, would you do the honor and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, ma'am? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I did say that, and I gave it to you. Oh, there it is. Now, what happened to it? I can't tell. Oh, here it is. It ended up on the floor with the coffee. <laughs> oh. Madam Secretary, would you call the roll, please? Commissioner Flower. Here. Commissioner Candy. Here. Commissioner Prince. Present. Attorney Clint Smith. Present. And Clerk to the Board, Kelly Camper. Present. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate that. Uh, amendments to the agenda. Um, I... I Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. That's fine. No, that's fine. Um, I got a call from Ms. Archuleta uh, earlier today, um, and she asked about supporting uh, a letter of support for a grant for EMT training, which will greatly reduce the members. So I'd like to put that on. She's got a real short fuse. Um, if we weren't having a meeting, I would have said, yeah, let me just call the two of you and get approval. But since we had a meeting, I invited her to come. So I'd like to add that on, please. Okay. And did I understand you correct to say she had a short fuse? <laughs> I'm getting the letter from us to the grant people. Okay. I apologize if that came out incorrectly. Because I thought, it, by it. I thought you were just forewarning us. Yeah, yeah. She was mad already. Yeah, the things could go south in a hurry. So that, that's okay. I apologize if that was too wrong. How does that fit with our 24 hour requirement? Uh, just so we don't get crossways with anybody. Yeah. Uh, we can handle. It, how come it's such a short fuse? Maybe we need to understand it. Well, we can discuss that, I guess. Uh, let's so deal with it in commissioner it. items. How's that? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and as an amendment to the agenda, uh, I would request that we strike uh, the item Hank Miller of Westcliff Meets under new business. Please strike that. He was unable to make the meeting today, so he requested that we drop him from the agenda. And then if I could, uh, I'd like to help the airport board out that's here because they're at the bottom. I don't know unless they want to hear about weed control. I would like to move them up in the agenda. Well, we don't have any weeds. At the you don't have any weeds. So maybe you that. should stay. Yeah. <laughs> but we could do that. It's, it's a, I think, I don't know. If we, we, got, we don't have very many things. So that's yeah, not uh, I'm fine with there. that. I mean, there's no <laughs> other there's no people in all the other agenda items. There's just us. So, yes, where would you like to move them to, sir? Let's just put them first, man, and get it Okay, over under new business. We're going to slide those under the first item under new business. Okay. Uh, that yeah, runway testing and update and discussion. Report. What's that? You could uh, we could do it during staff reports. During their staff report. No, that would be even better. Okay. So I'm fine with together. Airport. airport board, you okay with that? Yes. Okay. So we'll just uh, add uh, runway update to your yeah, and it, it'll involve a discussion and, and possibly uh, some other you know things that we'll do there. Okay. All right. Anything else, gentlemen, for the agenda? No. Uh, hearing none, we will move on. Thank you. Uh, audience introductions, Mr. Jolly. Let's start with you, sir. Uh, I. Mr. Jolly. <laughs> <laughs> and I just threw that name out there in case you were confused. Oh, okay. I once wanted to help I'm you out. Jolly Airport. <laughs> Thank you. Jimmy Green. Green Airport. Jackie Hobby. Zoning. Justine Beach EMS. Beth Archuleta, EMS Manager. Short Fuser. <laughs> Dallas Anderson, Airport Board. Ms. Anderson, his wife. <laughs> Sydney Flower. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to have you here. 
I don't believe we have any minutes to approve, so we'll move on to commissioner items. Commissioner Prince, would you like to start, sir? Sure. Um, I really have nothing to report since yesterday's meeting. Um, I had a meeting with Dennis Hunt, um, the CTSI, but I'll save that for okay. a workshop. All right. Um, and do you want to take this opportunity to address the EMS? Sure, I'd be happy to. If you don't mind, can I ask Ms. Archuleta to join yeah, us? Sure, absolutely. Why don't you come on up, Beth, because you're the one who has the information. <laughs> Good to see you there. Hello. Good job. You made it up here. I did, I did. With my short fuse. <laughs> so yeah, you're welcome. I'll, I'll stand. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll stand. That's fine. Okay. I have a phobia of people behind me, so. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. I don't Smart know. woman with this crap. <laughs> So I appreciate you guys putting me on your agenda today, and it is a short notice. Um, so as you've probably seen in the paper, we're planning on having an EMT basic class here locally to try and um, bring some locals on to provide the service of the, for EMS in the county, as we know that that is a problem, um, as a lot of us do work outside of this, uh, or live outside of this county that we provide the service for. So, and we listen to communities' comments and concerns during the whole election. And so, we are trying to get this EMT basic class to get started sometime in June, but looking at the cost and wanting to make it cost effective for residents of Custer County, we've decided to push it off until probably either the first or beginning of August. And with doing that, I found a CREATE grant yesterday that would pay for 50% of the cost of the class. So, say it's $2,000 to have an EMT basic class. The CREATE grant's going to pay a thousand of that. I don't know if that's the cost. We're still working on numbers and stuff like that. But what I also found out yesterday was that this grant is due by 5 o'clock Monday. 5 p.m. Monday. <laughs> so I do apologize that it is such short notice. And as I'm writing this grant today, here's this box. Upload your letters of support. And I'm going, oh my goodness, who am I going to get on such short notice? Mm -hmm. So technically I don't need the letter of support until... Monday sometime, if that would appease the 24-hour period for you. I don't want to cause any trouble, but... I don't, think, so, I don't so, think it does. So support of having the EMT class so we can get some more um, EMT basics locally to help us out. Our goal eventually is to hopefully um, add a second ambulance crew on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's not going to happen next week, probably not later this year, but... That is our goal with having these EMT basic classes. We look forward to having hopefully multiple classes if this one goes on. Myself and uh, Molly Atlantis, my assistant manager, are EMS instructors now, so we will be uh, instructing the EMS class. So okay. you need a letter from the commissioners. Mm -hmm. Supporting the EMS. Saying that we, mm -hmm. we support the grant and we support EMS um, training of additional um, emergency medical techs. Yes. Um, I don't know if that needs a motion, but I certainly feel that that's absolutely appropriate. Yeah. I don't I'll, I'll move that we do. I don't yeah. think it, it needs really a motion. Yeah. It this is just a, we're not committing anything that... Uh, it's not a substantive decision that's well, I'd say based general on what consent you said. would be adequate, yeah. and I think you have that with us. <laughs> so I would maybe ask you to get with Miss Brenda okay. and hammer out a letter, and I can certainly... So. All three of us can sign it, or I can sign it on yeah. behalf of us Monday. It's all three sign it because whatever. that uh, shows so, a lot of support. So if you guys would come idea. in Monday, sometime Monday morning, probably. Sure. Okay. Don't That's you great. think, Miss Brenda, that would work? Thanks for coming in. I knew I knew this would be the answer. <laughs> I just didn't feel I wanted to do it behind everybody's yeah. back. Okay. So thank nope, you. Completely and it helped understand. To I didn't know there was a, a meeting today. Yeah. So. And just so you know, it helped clarify it for the record. Okay. And that was good. Yeah, yeah, and I apologize, like I said, for the short notice. No, but just found out. We can't pass up 50% grant funds if it's going to help residents here in the county pay for a class. Absolutely. So, okay. Thank you so much. Yep, okay. if okay. you'll give Brenda Thank the name you. of the grant contact people, or we can hammer that out. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. <coughs> Uh, Commissioner Kanda, any items? Just a couple of hard to believe since last night, at, uh, whenever it was. <laughs> but I did um, manage to get to an Action 22 meeting yesterday for the uh, uh, board meeting, board mm -hmm. of directors meeting. Uh, it was very good. It's good to be in the middle of it. Chuck uh, Staggerwall was there and, and I. 
representing this county. Uh, and uh, they did a good job. They had some interns that uh, actually explained the legislation that's going to be on the ballot or could be uh, proposed. It's got to get through uh, several iterations yet to see what we're actually going to be voting on it, but it was very good. Also learned that uh, there's an, uh, an organization that's um, trying to figure out how to tax us more. Yeah. What else and is and the reason is the gas tax that we've got has been on for uh, for 20 uh, or a year or 30 or 40, whatever it's been, not ever been changed. And in that time, the cost of transportation has gone up, the cost of uh, moving, and then the oh, sure. number of cars that use gas has gone down. So it's a yeah, double whammy so. that they're getting. So there's, they, they normalized it, and then it looks logical. But nobody has a belly for a new tax, and they don't want to put it on an, an additional gas tax, so they're thinking about just putting it on the ballot for the state to vote a travel tax of some kind. And it would involve about a I don't know, buck 80 a head for people in the state, but we'll have to see what the, ad, the final language says. So stay tuned at your local ballot. So I thought that was interesting. It's worth going to those meetings. Sure. Uh, and then there were other things. Then I talked with our boys at the airport board. Uh, they'll give you a report uh, here in a few minutes, and they've discussed what nice, good things we need to do to honor Alan a little more. We'll hear some more about that. And then uh, we also, I have a, uh, been dealing with the family and the representative, Mike Joles, on the, on the uh, process of how we're going to get on contract. I mentioned it to, to uh, Clint yesterday. And we're going to begin testing on the 14th. That's when they want to do it. And the board's uh, going to have to get the X's out on the runway and shut the runway down while they do it. Uh, and I want to enter the testing in for the record. I'll just give it to Kelly just to have. But what it is is um, the non-destructive testing, which is going to go up the sides of the runway and up the middle of the runway with not drilling any holes, uh, which is a good deal. It's a lot cheaper. And, uh, and then the... Uh, the rest of the, there'll be some bores, a couple bores that they're going to do that aren't going to be very deep. But the, and the total cost is going to be 14000 bucks. We will talk about this after their report because the family has asked for us to share the cost on the testing and I'll explain why when we get to that. Okay, so guys, why don't you give a, a report? Well, let's hold off till we get to the staff report. That's what I meant. Oh. That, that's all I would say. I'll wait for that to, when, the, when they do their thing. Okay. Good. Any other items? No. Great. Uh, and I don't believe I have any either since yesterday. Uh, attorney items? Uh, the only thing I did was met with Jackie just before I came here to discuss uh, issues she had. And I think we've agreed on a course of action. That's all I've done since yesterday. Okay. And when we get to the road vacate on the agenda, you're right. you got that already prepared to go. for that. Oh, we're not doing that right no. now? It's on the agenda. New business. Um, okay, yes, we'll do it that way. I think so. All right. Yep. Um, to call you when the time comes. Uh, we're. Yeah. Don't worry, it's on the agenda. Uh, okay. It won't take long. Administrative assistant items. Um, I just got a call <clears throat> from Dwight Gardner, who is with um, Michael Bennett's office. He wants to be on the agenda on the 29th, and he was asking about wanting to set up office hours in Custer County, and he was asking about office space for that, so. Mm -hmm. A lot of places available, and I welcome them to come. Something for you to ponder. Okay, cool. So. Thank you. You'll put that on the agenda then? Yep. Thanks. Anything else, ma'am? That's it. Great. Thanks. Uh, Okay, we'll move into staff reports. We have uh, included our item of new business into the airport's report, so we'll do both of those things concurrently. Um, why don't we start with your standard report, sir, if you don't mind? I don't mind. Okay. Good morning. What happened to that fancy uh, suit you had? You're overdressed. Good morning. <laughs> you looked a lot different a couple hours ago, didn't you? Well, <laughs> this has really been a sad day for the airport. Yeah. That's for sure. And we found out that um, Bill Keifel crashed. Oh. 
right today? before the funeral. Because yeah. oh, no. yes. I thought he was coming up today for the funeral. Well, no. Anyway. Oh, no, I was thinking of the manager from the airport. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's in the hospital. Sorry. Well, so I had to run home because he's my next door neighbor. And uh, he's got a couple of dogs that are sick and they can't leave the dogs at home. And I knew Sherry wanted to get out of town. So. And he was in his airplane? Yes. One of them. Yeah. Where was that at? Uh, New Mexico, I believe. Yeah. He was, I was New Mexico. Yeah. Somewhere in New Mexico. He's in Albuquerque Hospital. He just took off, but he didn't want any air long, was he? Don't know the story you that pass on our best wishes from the Board of Commissioners, please. I'll do that, sir. Okay, getting on to other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as uh, in the month of May, we sold 468 gallons of fuel. The first seven days of June, we sold 215. <laughs> So it is flying season again, and right now we have in the tank 465. So I called World Fuel on the 15th of May and told them to start looking for us to split a load of fuel. And they said they would, and when I went out uh, to look at how much fuel we still had, I got a little bit panicky. So I called my good friend over in Pueblo, Dan Olson, and at 9 o'clock last night I got a call back from him and we are getting a load of fuel Wednesday. Good. Panicky because... How low was it? 465. Mm-hmm. And when we get down to 250 we shut it. Yeah. So because were... it gets too much sediment in the bottom. Well, there's good, it's going to go quick. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway... Lynn might get his plane in. Never know. <laughs> yeah, he might start flying again. Uh, one of the other things, and this is sort of out of order, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. If this whole thing with the Ot 6 happens, there was concern among some of our, our folks at the airport about testing Jet A. Um, I called uh, Reed Fuller, who is their head quality assurance guy in, in Chicago and talked to him quite a quite a long time and sort of brought him up to date on where this might go and wanted to know about the testing and he told me if you're comfortable with 100 you'll be comfortable with Jet A. They, they're, some of the equipment is different, the filter are different uh, the DP gauge is different because they'll be pumping 200 gallons a minute instead of 25. <laughs> 25, <laughs> maybe, on a, maybe on a good day. And uh, uh, the uh, specific gravity is a little different, the color is different, but the testing is basically the same. You sump the, uh, the filters, you sump the tank, uh, you check for clarity and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, He told me it wasn't a big deal, and I asked him about different training. He said, uh, uh, if you've been to any of the training, you're good to go. And I let him know that uh, if there's local training, uh, generally they have it up in Colorado Springs once a year, Uh, we'll be sending our folks up there to get some refresher, just to make sure, uh, because at the time we didn't have Jet A, and we don't know if we're going to get Jet A, but if we do, then I would rather send them up there so they could ask specific questions about Jet A and not just be concerned about <coughs> the 100. Bob, can I ask you a question, please? Yes, sir. Um, if we do get the deal with the OT6 and we, get, we, we put in tax for Jet A, will we have the same issue about finding split loads or... I mean, is this going to put a burden on you trying to figure out how to keep jet A fuel? In well, the that, tanks? to me, that's that's not a huge issue because uh-huh. you know we've sort of gotten to know a lot of folks around the state and trying to split loads, and uh, uh, there's enough other 
airports that have jet aid. It, depending on what size they want, and yeah, what it uh, ends up to be, what it what it ends up to be, and how many uh, gallons we sell, but it, it's not a big deal. not a big deal. Part of it, the reason would be uh, that requires a lot of fuel on that airplane. Yes. So the tank that they'll put in is going to be fairly large. So it, you may not have to to worry too well, much about splitting the loads until they get a certain amount down. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the expiration date on Jet A is the same as it is on is one hundred. Yeah. Nine months. Okay, good. So anyway, we'll we'll cross that bridge when, when and if we ever get there. Uh, one of the things that y'all, and I should say you all instead of y'all, excuse me, I come from the south, but anyway, was to get uh, more out in front of our community <coughs> to let them know who we are and what we do. So. One of the things we came up with is uh, every month we're going to put a little ad in the paper. It's, it's going to be called an airport factoid or something of that nature, and it's going to say how long our runway is, how wide it is. Uh, did you know that we have 22 airplanes, one jet? Uh, those type things, but we're coming up and we're going to just do it once a month. Uh, the cost is less than two hundred and fifty dollars, and we got five hundred in our budget, so we're we're okay there. Uh, the other thing is, uh, this is sort of what the it's going to be bigger than this, but this is sort of what it's going to look like. Bob Giacomelli didn't know how to make 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 it bigger, but anyway, it's going to be bigger than that. But it's going to be just the fact of the month. And uh, the other thing we talked about is uh, having something out at the airport for the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts mm -hmm. and the FFA and and those folks. And one of the things we're struggling with is every time we have an event at the airport, we struggle mightily to find something to cook on. The last uh, thing we had was on the 4th of July last year, and uh, we ended up cooking on a bunch of single burner camp stove Hibachis. things. <laughs> Hibachis and camp stoves. Uh, but I have a gas grill, and I'd be yeah. happy to donate to the airport. Oh, well, we had a bunch of those. Oh, do you? Yeah, we all took out. But yeah, okay. yeah we, if you'd like it, everybody yeah. packs them on the back of their vehicles. But I did uh, uh, run into a, a, a thing and it's uh, Blackstone grills 36 inches wide and we just got to figure out how we're going to finance that but we'll figure it out. We always do. Meantime, you can use that's a nice donation. If you'd like it. Yeah. Wouldn't have to haul it. We could stay out there, huh? Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, and the Blackstone one is that it's got a big grill that you yes, can do, it's, uh, you can do pancakes. You can do you can do twenty eight hamburgers, seventy two hot dogs, and sixteen steaks all at one time. <laughs> you're not fooling around. You're expecting some guests. That's good. Yeah, that's right. Where do I sign up? What kind of dollar figures you talking about? It's it's uh, four four ninety nine. I believe it is. That was correct. And that's for everything that comes with the cover and uh, 722 yeah. square inches of extra storage space. And Let's see how you get through so the summer and what we may have enough in the budget to handle that. Yes, and yeah. speaking of budgets, uh, we looked at our current budget and looked at our spending uh, projections for the rest of through next April. And here are those numbers and what we think our balance is going to be at the end of the year. So, and this is based on Dallas Anderson's uh, best uh, educated guess because he's he's been dealing with our budget for quite some time. And it gets high, well, we got June because we know we're going to be buying 2,000 gallons of fuel and then we have the insurance coming up in August, 
and insurance again in January, but the rest of it pretty much deals with uh, our monthly utility bills, the phone bill, the light bill, gas bill, those type things. And at the end of the year, we look at, at about 4700 in our budget at the end of the year. Good. Does that include the revenues for the gas sales? The I don't know if you put the revenues didn't look in. Like it. So no, I did not put the revenues uh, for gas sales on that, but uh, if we're certainly going to need to buy more fuel before the end, end of this year. year. And I'm anticipating uh, fuel costing $5 a gallon. So that's $10,000 at least for uh, a load of fuel later on in the year. But you will have and the our revenue yes. between now and then Should cover. would be about, well, at our present rate of sale, would be about $9,700. So you're right there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the profit on it probably might help on the Yes, bill. yes. So, but we'll figure it out one way or the other. Uh, yeah, that's why I put the <laughs> note on the bottom. Uh, uh, thirty thirty cents a gallon, something like that. 30, yeah, thirty. Right, and the current price on fuel uh, yesterday, when I got a quote from World Fuel, is three ninety five. So uh, my suggestion was uh, to Dallas, it, when we pay the split load fee, it's going to end up being about four dollars. So we can either leave it where it is. Right now we're selling at 455, but we're thinking a little bit about giving local pilots a little bit of a break. You know, at it, it, the most it'd be maybe a dime, so they'd be paying 40 cents per gallon for us as opposed to 50 cents. Uh, How are you going to ever determine who's local and who's not? Well. It, you're talking we, about we, people who have airplanes at right. our airport? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I that's, have an issue there. That's 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 just that. just the people that have airports at our airport. Airplane. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what they do is they give us our credit card number, and we go into the system and put their credit card number in there. With a discount. With a 10 cent discount or 2% or yeah. whatever. And then when they put their credit card in, it knows it. It gives them a 10 cent discount or 2% or whatever it might be. Is it something to prompt that or is it just a, a kind of a benefit you'd like to give people? Yeah, because they're local and they buy the most fuel. Right. And, and they volunteer. And they, yeah, most of them volunteer. I'm just curious what prompted this. Did some people come to you and say, hey, you're ripping us off? No, 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 no. no. That's no. the kind of thing I was worried about. No, we, and there's a lot of people that aren't on our board that are local folks. Bill Geipel is mm -hmm. shining I example. He does a lot for the airport. Sure. Uh, he puts on the pancake breakfast mm -hmm. once a year and mm -hmm. all that kind of good stuff. And we just say, wouldn't it be nice if we could get the folks that have airplanes at the airport that help us out a little bit of a break? Good. The other thing we're considering, we've talked about a little bit before, is uh, to get the more incentive we can give people to come, the more we'll sell. And uh, pilots do look in, and there are lots of aviation books that will tell you the price of gas within a 100 mile radius of any airport you pick. So that you can decide to zigzag into that field. If it's a lot cheaper 20 miles away, they'll do it. Sure. Well, and, and a, lot of, a lot of it deals with climbing, too. Right. Because of the altitude where we are, if they're going to Aspen, yeah, we're already here. Why it, go into Pueblo, go down, and then go way <coughs> up more higher than we are here to start with? So, uh, or into Walsenburg, right. because it's a heck of a climb from right. Walsenburg to uh, here. You lose a lot of fuel, doing that. You lose a lot of so fuel. So one of the there, thoughts so. we've had is that, you know, the, the airport is an economic um, a draw for a lot of people. And the more you get, the more the word spreads, and the more other people come, they'll even drive in here. So if we can do that, uh, we're going to try to, I'll, we'll talk to the towns and see if they want to subsidize that, uh, a few pennies a gallon, you know, on, on it to drive it a little further down than what we can afford now, keep the 
sales as high as we can. There's lots of thoughts that we've been tossing around on how do you draw it, get more picnics out there, get people to give uh, airplane rides to the kids, uh, that kind of thing, yes. or each club. So, I don't mean to be a negative here, but is that a decision that the airport should make, or is that a decision that the BOC should make? When, well, when I say that, I don't know. Yeah, well, when I say that, it's the airport's tossing around. When we go make a decision, then we bring it here to the. I, I, that, I am as right. a rep, I, I would do that. Fully on board with that. Communication. Yeah, we're not going to. We're not. Okay. We're not going to just well, do something. Well, we the authority to adjust fuel prices. Right. Yeah, so I was concerned that maybe you were going to do that also. No. It's just a thought. No. Yes. Okay. There's lots of neat I like ideas. The idea some of these. Personally. Yeah, because you know they are paying uh, for hangers. Right. They're paying for other services. They're using our facilities, giving the local a break. I don't have a big problem with that at all. Yeah. I just was concerned about how the process was going to work. I'm good. And yeah, we'll keep it. Yeah. And if, if transparency is our model. Yes. And if we're going to do really, that's what I, that's where I'm going with it. Yeah. And if if we do anything that's going to impact the county, of course we'll come. And let you all know Perfect. before we ever do it. Um, um, well, this could fall under the authority we gave you to adjust okay. prices. So, well, but this is a philosophy change, not a price change. Right. So that's, that's why I was there's a difference when we say to like, let's go and talk to the towns. That's a little bit bigger. Exactly. Go ahead and they represent the county. You know, I think this. I think you're handling exactly right. I'm on board with you. Thank okay. you. One of the questions I have, I believe I've read either in the bylaws or in a resolution from the commissioners that that the price point could not fall below X number of cents above what you're paying it's, for. It's so as long as you're staying within those guidelines, yeah, yeah, we're it's, good. Yeah, you gave us the latitude to, to go down to 25 and your original was 50 cents and we said, give us a little bit of latitude because right. we couldn't compete with it. Right. And when you look it up on Air Nav or wherever, it's a 60 mile radius. And they tell us the average. And right now, uh, yesterday when I looked it up, it was 457. We're at 455. So we're right there. And yeah. if we had to charge 50 cents instead of the whatever it is, we would be over the right. average. Mm -hmm. So, and the, so the, the only reason the average is at 457 is because Walsenberg's in there, yeah. and they're, they're subsidized. Well so uh, that's what makes it going to be. There's fun things we can do. We can get people involved in the and it, the donations can be put in a pot and allowed to also drive that price point down without cost. You know, even yes. two or three cents is a big deal when you're when you're burning. 400 gallons to get here for a pancake dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're flying a jet. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned your newspaper thing. Are you considering putting that in both papers? Or are you going to select one paper? Or what's right now? Right that? now it's the trib, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't have a problem with that. Except I think it would be a good idea to do it in both papers so that we could get the most exposure, but that's something I'll have to bring up to the board and make sure they're on board with that. So at our next board meeting, it, it's on the agenda. Can I get my thought on that? So our, our paper of record is the Sentinel. Um, I think yes, they would be choice one. And then if you chose to do the trib also, that would be an add-on. It should. I think your philosophy should be the other way around. That's my okay. thought because you are. Yes. That is our paper of. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And the more so exposure, the better. If you can afford yes. it, we should do what which can. Yes. I, I would agree with that. But and if you're do only one, it really would have been Since it's less than two hundred and fifty dollars a year, mm -hmm. and we got a five hundred dollar budget. <coughs> and the set was a often, and I'm not speaking yeah. for them, is often yes. considerably less than yes. this trip. Yeah, so uh, and the circulation is considerably less, too, that's why. But they are our Well, record. the reason that, and really it hasn't been selected yet because we haven't made a final decision on this yet, is because we asked Bob Giacomelli to, to ramrod this deal. Uh, also, he's working with Cindy Howard, uh, to try to get something going with the airport and an agreement between them and, and the airport on the use of our facility. 
mm -hmm. uh, because we already have a fire truck out there and those things. Lots of and, things. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, he's ramrodding that, and that's where he got the price from. That doesn't mean that that's where it's going to be, but that's where he got the Good. price from. Got it. Yep. And so I know it's not going to be over two hundred and fifty dollars a year for one paper. For one paper. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing that Commissioner Prince brought up, is that uh, Sentinel is a paper of record for the county. It's probably ought to certainly give them a shot. consideration. Yeah. Or start with them. I think they need it. So, and then if you yeah. choose to do the other one, then right. <clears throat> yeah. Um, well, I think in general, from a Board of Commissioners point of view, no matter what we're advertising, uh, it's probably best to put it in both papers if, as much as we could in order to cover the base and, and keep the papers going. Mm -hmm. Their budget can they afford? <laughs> the budget really yes. afford it. But if they can only afford one, then it all I agree. Paper. No, I'm, I'm yeah. agreeing. Just the philosophy thing is okay. all I was saying. Let's move on. What else, sir? Can't see it. Okay, go so fly away. So yeah, don't go flying away. So let's. Uh, we need to finish up uh, the rest of our discussion. Uh, and uh, well, I've talked to the board about this. The family would like us to split the cost of the testing, the fourteen thousand bucks. And I thought about it. At first, they came in and said, "We'll get the testing done." Since then, they have agreed to reduce the cost of the testing. That's you know significantly by changing the methodology. And then they said, "You know, good faith." They said, uh, "You all also need to know what the load capability of that airport is." And in fact, so I asked the guy. So. How many times in the past have we had people ask, uh, how, what is the capability so I can land my airplane? And it's a lot. Uh, I have no idea what it is. And, the, and, uh, and that, to me, it, is disturbing. I used to tell people... You don't have any idea what the load capability is, and they correct. can't answer the question. So I've always, in good faith, answered that question to what I've been told. I was told this by Dale Mullen, and and pass people on the board. And then when the Air Force calls me once in a while and asks me, uh, the Army's called us and asked us. I tried us. to get an F-16 in here some time ago and they, they asked. And when Audit Aut 6 said, do you have it in writing? I tried to find it in writing. We, They came up here and we went through all our records at the airport I called, uh, where's Jackie? I called Jackie and asked her if she had anything on record. I went to the state and talked to uh, our point of contact up at the state, and everybody gave me a different number. And I said, where did that number come from? That's what we've heard, or that's typical of an airport your size. Not good enough. I said, right. well, I, from a liability point of view, you can't, you can't go on a guess. So, now, if the Air Force were to call me today and ask me that question, I'd say, I, I, don't, I know. don't know. Yeah, and we lose out a lot. So, so the next step in the discussion went like this. It's, uh, okay, so it's a win-win for the county because if the load-bearing capability of that runway is less than their airplane with, with any amount of fuel because to land here, that's the issue, and they would like to have enough to get out of here, and go a decent ways away to get more fuel. They don't really care if they can come in here with their full load, which yeah, would be fairly heavy. They, they're, they're and it, for all we know, it still may carry their full load, and they would really love it. So it's a win-win for us. It's a win-loss for them because they could end up four, foot and a half the bill and not being able to even land here. So I think it's a reasonable request. I don't think it's a lot of money, and I think we have a, a ways to afford that. And since uh, and I would recommend we can discuss it, but I think because it's an economic use of the money, we have economic development fund that we have for the county already, and there's eight grand in it. So I think there's plenty of room to go ahead and uh, at the end of the year here right now, we don't have to pay it right away anymore. until uh, it, you know it, it'll fit in with whatever schedule and whatever we agree for payments to be made. But that's a recommendation I have. Now we can discuss options. But, but we're going to start the test on the 14th. We don't have to have the contract in place, but it needs to be in place soon in order to get, uh, you know, from a liability point of view and all that covered. So the 14th is when they would like to begin testing. And we can set the structure up. And here's, and here's, here's the rest of the story. 
what they're proposing to do is set up an escrow fund that the family funds for a county to use. It's a public, pr uh, private uh, uh, method. That's right, and it's what they have already done. The Armstrong Engineering's already done that, and they're anointed, are, are, were, uh, nationwide. Given that, um, what they would like to see us do is <coughs> us be the authority that, that contracts with the engineering group that's going to run the, the program and then fund it and we would draw on that fund monthly or however we however Donna and Virginia and, and all that we decide how we'll, we'll set it up and then fund it out of that fund so uh, as far as the testing goes you know that in the end we'll have a pot of money we're going to get things done they need the testing data anyway and they'll they'll advance the funds and we haven't worked out the details that'll be up to Clint and, and their lawyer and, and we'll I'm figure it out with us. <laughs> yeah I'm sorry to say so it originally came to us they were paying for everything right it's not our budget they want us to fund seven thousand mm -hmm. dollars approximately it needs to come out of an airport budget not an economic development well, we, budget. we can discuss we that have it i i'm almost of the mind to say let's put this in the budget for 2019 and hold off till then i'm concerned about where this money is going to come from it was not what we originally anticipated oh, I agree. it was going to cost. And it's really for, now I grant you, this information is something that's probably vital for the airport. So it needs to be done. I'm not discounting that one iota. But does it have to be done right now except for OT 06? OT 06. I would much rather see this as a budgetary item for next year. This just, I'm, I'm just telling you how I feel about it because. I don't think it's fair to take from any other pot. I don't know. Oh, I, 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 I'm just, I'm just throwing that's, this that's out. That's a good point. Uh, from a OT six point of view, they need it now. They want it now. They would like yeah, to land it. now. They're a big business. They you offered know. to pay for 100 percent, and I they know. come back and said, "Well, you need the information to so pay for half of it." That's not what the original agreement was. Right, and I agree. But was this just like a negotiating thing? You think they would just go ahead anyway if we said? Uh, it, yeah. when I, you know, I talked to the, I talked to they they want it bad. Yes. But I want I personally don't want to slap them in the face. No. They are going to spend many thousands of dollars for us. So let me just yeah. throw out and throw out and, like, and and all I was saying just let me finish that. Sure. It's a win win for us either way it goes. I concur. And I and they could stand to lose. The, the money up here, and, and so they're 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 just wanting to make. They don't even live in the county, and they're doing and, you know, and they're being good citizens. So I I would hate to go back and say, nah. I got a suggestion. Don't. Suggestion. How about because it's not budgeted this year, we ask them to fund it this year, and we'll reimburse them once we have a budget um, for 19, 2019. You're, you're thinking the same here, uh, but uh, I don't have a problem with. And they will go along with that. And that's what I meant when I said they're going to put a pot of money in there anyway, and we will right. reimburse them whenever we agree. But I wanted to I wanted to get that out straight first. Secondly, though, I I do not know what we're going to spend eight thousand dollars of economic development money on. It's it's for everybody. It's not a, a CCED yeah, incorporated so pot. I agree. And to me, this is a big deal. And we could even use some of the money to do some of the advertising these guys are wanting to advertise anyway. And and have a big party out there when we get the... You know, I mean, there's lot, lots of things you can do with OT6. I fully understand. So I think that's the debate. We can talk about it, but I would... I, I, we need to make a motion here. I would move that we actually fund this money. And, not, and whether it's... We can just discuss in the discussion whether we defer it. And take it out of the next year's budget, which is not a bad idea. Or that we, I don't want to waste the money on the economic development either that is there, and I want to go follow, follow, uh, and go back into a pot later. <coughs> so I would move that we do that. Let's have the discussion. Tom, can I ask you to China? Uh, well, we have a motion. Um, your motion, if I understand it, is to fund half of the cost of the right. testing. <coughs> This and is year, that this year. fair to say that's seven thousand dollars? Yes. Or is that an estimate? Or no, it's seven thousand. Okay. Uh, I'll second the motion. 
it's been moved and seconded to fund half of the uh, study on the testing of the airport through the economic development line. Is that what yes. I understand you to say? Uh, is there discussion? Now, if, if there's a, if, no, we can discuss, Jay, the, if, if I like the concept of deferring it, if that's the right thing to do, but we need to understand the pros and cons of doing that. So I, I absolutely concur. You need to have this information. Someone's got a, a, I'm not an aviation guy, but someone has a little heavier plane and says, is it safe for me to land at your airport? You've got to have this information. You can't say, well, I'll know. You will try it out. Maybe you'll make it, maybe you won't. That's not an answer, obviously. Big dip well, in the runway and a broken so, wheel. One like a bunch of hill wheels. So it has to be done. I have no yeah. doubt about it. And the advantage now is, instead of us footing the whole bill, we have someone who will foot half the bill. My only concern is, A, they said they were going to do 100%. And I, I don't discount them saying, hey, you ought to pay for some of this since you're going to be using it for everybody. I'm okay with that. What I'm, I'm having a little angst about is taking the money from a pot that we don't know where that, what the need's going to be from that pot down the road. You know, mm -hmm. that's well, my concern. Okay, and you asked me for my way in, and I'll certainly give that. Um, I think that I agree with what both of you have said. It's a need. We can't walk around shrugging our shoulders and saying, well, we really don't know what the weight capacity is. Um, my take on the economic development thing is, I, I truly believe this airport is an economic development uh, constituent in our county. I don't think a lot of people agree with that statement, but I don't care what a lot of people agree or disagree with. I believe that. that that certainly it is and it has a ton of potential to be an economic uh, impact in our county. I think that's the way we have to start looking at this airport uh, more so than maybe we have in the past. So that's why I would uh, be in favor of drawing the funds out of that economic development line because I think this is a move in economic development. We'll take some heat for that, I understand that, but that's how I feel about that. Uh, you know, we have honored any request that's come forward for that economic development money uh, and I've taken some heat for some of that as well so uh, that's kind of where I shake out on it as uh, as a commissioner that that I think we do need to look at our airport as an impact driver of this county and and uh, act accordingly and I see the board uh, really putting a lot of effort into growing that and, and making it more visible and I think it's, uh, we sure don't want to defer it, you know, not with, a, with an opportunity. I'm, I'm on board. I mean, yeah. I just have these concerns. That's good. And, yeah. and the bottom line is, if something comes up with a need that we wanted to classify as economic development later, and the fund's not there, we can look elsewhere. And yes, we can. We also. can go across yeah. other things. So the only one we, you yeah. know, the few, there are right. few funds that are absolutely sacred. We can't yeah. touch Road and Bridge, for example. Right. Right. Um, do we need to talk to um, a treasurer or anybody before we make this decision? No, uh, no. But okay. good money. Um, budget, it's there. It's yeah. The other thing I wanted to throw out too was that I think there are times when for the we have to have some vision in our county, and sometimes that may involve taking a leap of faith. We don't really know what kind of impact OT6 or the Navajos are going to have on our county. We don't know that, but we have to, I think, take a leap of faith and be willing to step out and say, but we believe that we're going to get some good feedback for our county from our involvement, our relationship with these people. I don't think we're always going to have to be able to have everything written down in black and white in order to make a decision that we think is the best for the I county. Agree. And I think this is one and of those great examples. Before the vote, if for, for some reason they choose, Lot 6 chooses to back out, are we going to have to reimburse them their contribution for half of it? So what we're basically That's saying why I said it's a win-loss for them. Right. There's no, I, I'm trying to find the downside is other than the concept that we work a day for anything, but I I, I understand yeah. what they're trying. And to one say. thing too, for the public record, for people that don't know it, Ot Six, and I mentioned to last meeting, has jumped into this community with both feet. Uh, I've got a picture of the, the proposed scoreboard we're buying for the school through the yeah, booster club, 
it's a huge 36 foot wide, uh, 8, 10, 12 feet tall, and it's got about six in the middle of the scoreboard underneath that sponsored it. And so they're going to be full force in this community and they are giving us the opportunity to make money with their investment on the, on the whole fuel farm and, and everything. So that's why uh, when they said, I, my heart, you know, at first I said, man, you got, and I said it to the pilot, the, the, their rep said, you guys said it's gonna be all paid for. You know, that's the first thing you always, you do, you know, well, what we're are you gonna do? They have the scoreboard, are we? Yeah, no, <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Just <that. laughs> And so, uh, so that's why I think it's important to show good faith to them that we are willing to meet them. And we can find the money. Yeah. I agree. Well, we have the money. We have the money, uh, but I mean, we can find the money for the well, other Well, let's vote on it. And there might be a time right. when somebody comes and says, hey, we want to do this for economic... We're sorry. Yeah. We don't have any more economic development right. money. We don't have to grease every piece of... That, uh, any uh, good idea, every idea. ...wheel that comes in either, but okay. certainly can okay. deal with those as we okay. come across good the Good discussion. I just want to voice my concern. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm ready to vote. And, and after the vote, after we do it, I'll get with Clint, and we need to uh, move out uh, and with the guys because we've got to get X's on the runway. We've got to get a note and notice to airmen to shut the runway down on the 14th and, and uh, get on contract. Yeah. Now, I guess uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the vote. I'll, I'll mention it now so we can remember to talk about it. Do we need to, as a commission, vote on this whole testing thing or not? I don't know about that. Is I that within the authority no. of the board to contract for that kind of money? I don't know, but it's a question. Uh, further discussion on the pending motion, which is uh, the only further discussion I have is I, I don't I don't remember the motion actually saying that the seven thousand would come out of economic I development. Did. Who well, didn't say that? he didn't say that. I asked him if it was. I, I actually did say it, but he he, re, he re restated okay, it. I'm ready to vote. Um, public comment. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, you just brought up a, a real point uh, about the approval to do the testing. Uh, as the, the board that we are, as I understand how we're constituted, uh, we still do not have authority to say yes on the Dallas, he was referring to the board of directors, not the Airport board. Well, they, the, we, we, the board, are. That's how this came to us in the first place. You guys brought it to us because right. you told me you can't, and I agreed. You can't. You don't have the authority to say let's go do the testing. That's yeah, what that's we true. did, and we agreed that we it needs to be done, and it's this board that's making that decision. And that's what we just said. We're gonna, we're gonna approve the testing be done, and we're gonna split the cost. Okay. Uh, we have to do it by the fourteenth. And one thing that bothers me is uh, uh, this company, uh, the Ot Six people. Uh, they brought this up themselves the first time, and uh, they said they would pay for the whole thing. We have it in writing. I have a copy of that. Uh, and uh, all of a sudden now they want to uh, pay half of it. Well, maybe the first thing was modifying the runways. They didn't mention the testing. I don't know. I don't know. But, then, but we've discussed that, you're right. And down the road, a year from now, year and a half, uh, put me in Jet A. At best that I can dredge up for numbers today, uh, if, they, if they got a 10,000 gallon tank with all the, the dispenser and everything that makes it go, uh, they're looking at about $30,000. And uh, are they going to want the county to pay half of that when that comes around? That is a wonderful question. We don't know the answer, of course, but the question is right. Because they originally said we'll pay for the whole thing on the testing. They wanted to have, is this a precedent? We're, it's not a precedent we're setting because all we have to do is say, we're not doing it. Right. And so that's let all we have to do. But, Dallas, your, but your question is well it, it is, but you missed the meeting where I brought the letter in from them. With the and it clearly states that if the runway can support it, this is after the testing, can support our aircraft, we propose the following at our expense. And that's what I have to get with Clint. And we're going to list out the things they gave us. Construction of the pad, construction of new modifications for existing taxiway, Jet A single point over the wing system, private instrument approach. Those are the items that will be in the contract that we will sign 
and they will agree to. I don't care what the cost is. That they, as long as they've agreed that they will foot the bill, and that's, okay, that, what, that's what. Yeah, I don't have a copy of that letter. I have the I copy of. I gave it to the board to this give to you guys. I gave it to yes. Alan and Bob when they came in here. Anyway, it just bothers me with it. I I agree. That's fourteen thousand bucks up to a company that's worth over seventeen billion. But remember, it is. <laughs> They, they, and that's the exact words I used with them too, at Dallas. And that's when they came back and said, "Well, look, it's just a good faith piece, and we want, uh, and they want to make sure we care enough, and we do, to uh, understand our own load limits that we have on our runway." Yeah, we really need to know that. Yeah, I think that's reasonable too, Bill. You bring up a good point. Is it's information we're going to get back that we probably should have. And we're lucky to be so getting half of it paid for. We look at it as an investment. That's why I look at yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, we have to have the yeah. information. Yeah. Have to have yeah. it. Uh, Further public comment. I'm going to call the vote on this, and then we're going to come back to the other item that right. uh, that you spoke of, uh, Dallas. So if you'll bear with me just a second, um, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor of the county funding half of the cost of the testing at the, in the amount of $7,000 to be paid for out of the economic development line. Say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Uh, we will inform our financial officer of that and we'll move forward. Now, so I'm back to my original question. I don't believe we as a commission have voted to allow this testing to even occur. I, I haven't been here at a meeting yeah. that uh, and so, that, so my question was, is this something that falls within the authority of the know, board? Let's Air go ahead and board. vote on it, and that way, do it. Let's just do it. it. You know, it's one of those things, it's not going to hurt to have it. So I move, now that we have funded yeah. the <laughs> testing, that we authorize right. the testing to take place. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded that we <laughs> authorize the <laughs> testing of the airport for load capacities. Discussion. Let me amend that. Sure. And I think you ought to authorize me to be the, uh, uh, the point of contact to, uh, to continue oh, negotiations and contracting, working with Clint to make sure we get a contract in place for the county oh, that meets perfect. the requirements of their request and our Perfectly needs. Fine with that. Okay. By consent, can we add that then? Sure. Uh, further discussion on the motion of authorizing the testing of the airport and assigning Mr. Kanda as point of contact for such testing. And the uh, further construction, that was the point of the net, the net you, contract. You are the airport right. commissioner. Right. So, point of contact. So we, have to, we have to develop a contract for the testing that part A, part B is the construction. It's fine. Mm -hmm. okay. Further debate? Comments from the public? Hearing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. Uh, we will <laughs> delegate authority to the airport board to pursue that testing uh, and work in conjunction with Commissioner Kanda yeah, yeah. to represent the uh, Board of County Commissioners. I got a question. When, which days are they proposing for us to close it? Here, and I'm going to give you the answer. Okay. And do we close it at 22? Six in the morning. 20, oh, wait, let me finish. Oh, that's what it is. 2200 Zulu on the 13th. Yeah. Or do we do it at? Do it the way the NOTAMs the, are. You have to get a NOTAM out right. anyway. Could you, could you tell us what the Zulu, what time <laughs> Zulu is here? It's Speak in English. <laughs> it's eight hours it's, uh, ahead of us. It's, it's six. Greenwich Mean Time, or six hours. Six no, hours, I'm thinking. Okay. So at 6 a.m., yeah. you're talking about our time. Right. So do I close it at 6 o'clock in the evening, our time on the 13th, which is about when people quit flying in here anyway? And do we, is it for two days or just one? One day. One day? Ooh. All right. Then I'll close it in the evening of the 13th, and it'll Open be. Open it the next evening. Then, then open it the evening of the 14th. Right. Got okay. it. All right. Anything else, sir? No, sir. Uh, I do have a quick question for you as an airport board. I don't expect you to answer it right now, but I'll throw the question out there. Um, do you anticipate the airport board uh, trying to fill Mr. Butler's vacancy uh, before the end of the year, yes. or are you going to leave that open? No, we're going to fill okay. it before the end of the year. Look at the bylaws. Oh, God. <laughs> 
<laughs> you come in here and not pay attention to your bylaws, you'll get barked at. That's all I can tell you. We'll, we'll follow our bylaws. There you go. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, Bob. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. Be strong. Don't weaken. <laughs> it's tough. Okay. I am. <laughs> Never mind. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> I'm assuming we're beeping the treasure as all. Yeah. Thanks, though. So. Thanks, Liz. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Liz. Thank Good to see you, Liz. Thank you, Bob. Bye. Take care. Thanks, Dallas. Bye. 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 Oh, Virginia's back. Good morning. How are you? Hello. Hi, Virginia. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Good. See, See ya. Dallas. Thank you, ma'am. Well, I think, gentlemen, you have the financial one. If I can read it through my coffee stain. Did you have an accident? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang it, I hate when that happens. Tom made me do it. <laughs> I can give you a fresh one if you want. No. <laughs> Be careful. Everything on board? Yeah, we look pretty good this month. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, and I... Don't know if we've had this conversation or not, but in the event that I was remiss in letting you know that, and I'm going to send out something formally, we are scheduled to meet with... Uh, June 21st? Yeah. That's where I'm headed, yes. June 21st, 9 o'clock. I got okay it. with that? Yep. Okay, good. Um, I wanted to make sure we got that on your calendar. So, just more of a learning thing, I think, for us, but thought you should be involved. Yep. Okay. I'll be there. Right. 9 o'clock, I have one. 9. 9? You don't stretch it up. have been a little late. There. Yeah. Well, there was a reason. I told him it was at 1. You no. didn't want him there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to show what's over. But now that it's out Jay, Jay's looking around and empty. <laughs> now that it's out in the open, I might as well just You're own up. No, I've got it at 9 o'clock. That's fine. So, I just yeah. changed my calendar. Not yeah. an issue. I just yeah. had it at 1. I'm very glad someone told yeah. me. Yeah, and I'll send out as we get a little closer. I'll send out to everybody about that. But, um, okay. Commissioners, any questions? No, the only one I have, uh, Virginia, is the you got an airport line here, mm -hmm. uh, and we just were discussing a uh, method that we're going to have to talk to you about about putting a new uh, a escrow fund in from a public donation to improve the airport. Do we want to use that that line, or do we? Would you set up a separate one for us to draw as we construct the new construction? Okay, the way ours work in our office, you have airport single line in here mm -hmm. on this report but in ours there's more to it okay so you would set up a separate little so count. count in within that but it would roll up into an airport yes. line that's mm -hmm. that's what i was asking mm -hmm. cool. and you would receive those funds and donna would disperse them yeah i'm always supposed to receive all county funds. right so it'll we'll go into you donna will figure out how she's going to issue the uh, checks as we get billed that, like that okay, mm -hmm. okay. And that's some more of the conversations we hope to have on the 21st, too, is okay. with Sam to say, hey, can we do it? Should we be doing it? Should we not be doing it? Or whatever. So you're expecting donations to the airport? Yeah, so put like a donation yeah. box out there or something? Yeah. No. Big box. Be you get a quarter and a yeah. nickel. <laughs> $17 billion corporation maybe make donations. So, Ooh. yeah. It, it's yeah, yeah. completely paying for the big picture out there. But anyway, yeah, we just need to make sure if and when it happens, we have a place to receive those funds mm -hmm. and not be a surprise for anyone. But anything for you, from you, ma'am? Concerns? Issues? No, not right now. We're doing, like I said, we're kind of limping along. Good. Good. <laughs> Sounds great. You're not uh, limping. Yes, we are. I would move that we <laughs> accept the I'll second it. Treasurer's report. The moon and second accept the treasurer's report. Uh, discussion? Public comment? Hearing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. So, Virginia, is the cash not coming in when you expected it, or is it less than what you expected? 
Well, since we're six, going to be 600000 there's not enough cash to come in to pay all the expenses. Yeah. This is what's happening. So far, like I said, we're limping along. I got you. All righty. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. I know we're Thanks. running a behind schedule. Yeah, that's <laughs> not too far. We're going to try to catch up. Okay. OEM. Welcome. Whoops, we Hello. can't. It's Cindy. How are you? <laughs> what? I said, now we can't catch up. It's uh, Cindy. Oh, no, yeah. Donna told me I had to be quick. So I don't know if I can do that or not. <laughs> yes, you can. No, you can. How are you? I'm tired. Are you? It's my fault. Too much finance education. So. Mm hmm. When'd you get back? <laughs> Uh, Wednesday night at 5 o'clock. I mean, I drove back and forth Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I just spent the one night in Pagosa and then a personal night on Thursday and Thursday and uh, the watch and went up and so it was long days. They ran, ran it just like an incident command post. There was no incident commanders, operations, wow. daily briefings. I skipped the daily briefings because I was mm. driving up to Salida. But wow. uh, it was good. It was good. good. It was long. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm tired, but it's almost Saturday. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm pulling up your report now. Okay. So. Yeah, I was curious, looking at your report, is there a new county called Freelmont? Yeah. Oh, see, I did. I was. Curious. I found the typo. I don't know what it is. My word program the spell check doesn't work half the time. But I did find that today. I have it highlighted in work. Uh, well, if the extension but, agent can call it Pueblo, we can get about to call it Freelmont. So. Pueblo yep. called oh, I know. Yep, I definitely got a typo yeah. on that one. Um, yeah, down there on the I was April. Just joking with you, please don't take that as a I'm, criticism. Yeah, that's fine. Now I used to get razzed on my spelling <laughs> before yeah. too. So um, on the that April and May reimbursement request, the twenty one thousand and thirty nine thousand, yeah. um, those both came in on June sixth. So oh. we put in sixty thousand dollars. Wow. There's about just under sixty eight thousand dollars left on that public health grant. Um, that's where the seven See, there you know ought to come from. Because the other <laughs> one's flying the helicopters in and the emergency <laughs> there ambulances you go, there in you and go, all that. Man. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the bucks. I'm broke. <laughs> She's got the money. It's only seven thousand, Cindy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I sent out an email this morning, um, forwarded it to you, Dennis Page with the Forest Service. They have a prevention and education team coming in. There's a meeting Monday, 10 a.m. at Wet Mountain Fire. A lot of stakeholders in, are invited. Um, I just forwarded it so you would have it, and I sent it to a couple more people on Wet Mountain Fire that weren't on the distribution list. So I'm not sure what all that's going to entail. It looks like there's people from several counties, and it's a last-minute deal but they got some emergency funding, um, so they're supposed to listen to us. So just so you know, that's going on Monday at 10. Um, there's another fire conference call at 1 o'clock on Monday. Then we're doing an after action at 2 o'clock on Monday for the hard scrabble fire at the fire station. Congratulations on the enormously quick and efficient yeah. response to that fire. Yeah, I think Great we... job. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of that was everything being in the right place at the right time and being an available resource, not being assigned anything else. Good job. Um, yeah, I was luck of the draw. And, and I was in class, and so I came out and I talked mm. to Dennis Page, and I was going to come home as promised, but Dennis said, I'm not even leaving. I'm sending you three engines yeah. and two seats, and um, and I have a, a uh, hot shot crew available. And then by the time Joe Lobiondo texted me back, uh, I think, Pretty much from the OEM side, Chris Barr and Meredith did it, but it was great training for Meredith. Yeah, it was. Um, she did great, um, and it was just small enough that you know it wasn't. It was it was a good good get her adrenaline pumping, <laughs> good training for her. Yeah. So, so I thought you know from what I heard, she did great, and uh, yeah, I think just you know from the public expectation part, we may not ever. You know that that was lucky to have those folks there. Um, so I'm, I'm glad to hear you know, the ten yeah. according to Dennis's uh, yeah, the, the thing on Monday. Yeah, the public education team stakeholder meeting is at 10 a.m. They're supposed to listen to us. Um, and that's at the firehouse. Uh huh. Yeah. So I'll pretty much be at the firehouse all day Monday. And then also Monday was the deadline we put on the. Um, modifying the uh, fire ordinance 
Um, and Shannon and I have a bunch of comments in there, so um, I've got some questions for you, Clint, at some point. But Shannon thought if we got done with the after action quick enough, we could work through a few of those things and maybe get that to to Clint for his, you know, because he wins all the arm wrestling contests on that. And, and then we're hoping to get that ordinance um, for a first reading at your mid-month meeting, if possible. So, um, yeah, so I did print. Just send me when, which, okay. what you've got. Okay, if you, you can. Shannon are in agreement, are you? Um, there's some questions, so I made some hard copies that okay. I can leave with you. If you I, I'll send you the Google link too, but just in case you want to. Well, I've got the original. I mean, okay, well, this has the comments on the side if you kind of want to see what yeah. we've got in there for comments. And then this is the um, MOU between the county and the fire district, and then there's the MOU with the, between the fire department. <laughs> There's a section in there that I think it goes into way too much detail on the MOU between the fire districts, more so than the MOU promises. So, um, but if you read my questions there, you can reference that other document, and uh, I'll follow up with you next week so we can finalize that. Commissioner Kand is committed to a conference on Monday, okay. uh, out of town, so he will not be there. Mm -hmm. I will. Okay. Certainly uh, yeah, be, be there at the okay. early meeting. I've got two yeah. other meetings that day, but I'll try to go in and out. And I'm not sure what to expect from it. Sounds like it's a, a pretty good learning thing. It's uh, a discussion. Yeah, I think so. Like and to be on the after action review. And you know, they've asked me a little bit about you know what what I think we can do, and I one of the things I think we can do is push this more to the Denver news media. We've got a lot of public information out there on, in Southern Colorado, but people up north don't realize how how bad it is south of highway 50 or what the fire restrictions are coming in or they're confused um so um on somebody that said in the action 22 meeting yesterday that they thought that the fire ban was going to be lifted uh, in fremont county uh and they were for the fourth of july Hmm. Have you heard anything like that? They just, I thought they just went into they restrictions. Did. I know. Yeah. I don't think so. And they so. were talking about still not giving up hope. Somebody did for the Lake DeWeese uh, fireworks. Did you have anybody approached you on that? To um, there was a Facebook thread on that I saw last night where Terry Munson said, because somebody said they're still collecting donations, and Terry Munson said they are, and the vendors agreed to store them if we buy them, and we can't, they so were, they've been ordered, but... Um, maybe that's why people are, maybe it's rumors, because right. they've been ordered, they're all but, thinking it's going to happen. Unless you it's lift the happen. restriction, it is. That's, that's what I said. I, I haven't heard and, that yet. And Meredith had a good question because that's what state wildlife area at the, mm -hmm. the lake. And then there's private property where they launch from. But um, Meredith asked, you know, in terms of the fire restrictions, how that gets enforced because the federal restrictions apply to BLM and DOI right. and Forest Service. The county restrictions apply to unincorporated. But she's like, well, what about the state lands? And there are some school sections and stuff. And I said, good question. I'm not sure where the jurisdictional authority is there. I think it's county land anyway, uh, authority. Well, maybe not for that. Uh, yeah, you can't supersede can't, federal, not, authority. Not federal authority. And there's one line in there, you'll see, Clint, where it says something about um, we can state. close lands, and I don't know what lands we can close, because we can't close federal lands. The feds have to do that, so we can't even close them on. That's right. We can't even close them during a search and rescue mission or put mm -hmm. up, you know, the sheriff can't put up a roadblock. And we get in a lot of trouble there real quick, so... Um, <laughs> Um, on the grants, I signed the Ready, Set, Go. You got, sent it back. Um, I'm going to try to scout that out and narrow it down with some of these same stakeholders there on Monday of what we're going to do. We had already done the public notice on the tilt funds that we had to spend this year, and um, I'm coming up with about um, 19500 left in the county tilt funds, um, which 500 of that, 5000 of that was towards that grant, but I, I think we're going to have close to 15000 more I'm going to have to spend. So whatever outside the scope of the Ready, Set, Go grant, whether it's chipping or slash collection or something, um, we'll have to expand that. So I'm going to try to get that request for a proposal put together and figure out what I can you know, talk to the International Association of Fire Chiefs, find out what we can do, get it you know, out there for bid or however we need to do that. And that's a pretty quick turnaround on that grant. On the public health grant, they're working with uh, Jamie, who's a hydrologist with the Forest Service, to go up 386 and spend some money. We've got about 68000 left, and uh, I told them I don't mind what we do as long as we don't commit the county to a penny more than what was in the grant, and uh, they're going to look for some more grant funds. So I think Paul Crispin will be at the mid-month meeting, so that may come up as a topic on that grant. 
Um, and then the hazard mitigation plan, which I did my first year on the job, I got an email from the state saying, you know, that's only a five-year plan and you need to reapply for a grant and start the process all over again because it'll take that much time. And so I thought about <laughs> jumping off a bridge when I got that email. <laughs> I do not even want to go there again. So that'll be, you know, and, and that was a lot of money. It was a $50,000 grant. I don't know what it would entail to do it on our own without the contractor. Um, I know Pueblo County did their update on their own the last time around. So future thing we need to think about because I'll have to, you know, approach you before we do anything there. Um, and then I'm meeting with Bob from the airport authority board to we decided on drafting an MOU not um, MOU or intergovernmental agreement I don't know what it needs to be because it's interagency right. um, it's not intergovernment it's inter and um, so I'm going to meet with him Wednesday and I think that's my biggies unless you have questions for me so uh, I got a lot to get caught up on um, what was the date of that training June 1 <coughs> The, the 10 a.m. Monday the 12th. Is it 12th or 11th? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 12th. Monday the 12th or 11th? Monday the 11th. Monday the 11th. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What time is that? 10 a.m. And then. It's firehouse. Yeah, at the firehouse, what mountain? In and out all day, sounds yeah. like. Yeah. And I did find out through this last fire, it'll come up in the after action, that the road and bridge surf agreements aren't updated. And um, But I think we're going to be able to get them some money back for having water tenders on the fire eventually. Is that meeting on the 12th or on the 11th? On the 11th. God. Monday. On Monday. So Everything's Monday on Monday. Okay. Yeah. okay. So sketch everything I said. I, did I go they, this, oh, it's I think you went one? to the AOP meeting, oh, the annual different? operating plan. Yeah. This is... Um, They've got a special, Forest Service has put together a special prevention and education team. Oh, it's and it's something they've pulled together, and this team is coming here. And then I think they're doing a meeting at the bowling alley on Saturday, which I think is June 23rd. I don't have my calendar. So there's a meeting, another meeting yeah, coming up that Jeff Uthier's got put up. 6 yeah. to 7.30. So, um, yeah. I, and I think that's the same team. So I think they're meeting with the okay. stakeholders now. Um, but I yeah. could be a little off. Well, I will be there on the 10th. Okay. Or on the 11th. On the 11th. Sorry, 11th. I okay. read it down on the 12th. Anything we need, we're not giving you that we can help you with? I just need to keep Meredith. Yeah. She's... It's <laughs> up to you. <laughs> well, I'm not letting her go anywhere. <laughs> She's, uh, you know, I, I'd be pretty overwhelmed, especially with these grants and stuff. I think I am a little overwhelmed. But, um, you know, other than that, I, I'm... I'm happy with the progress we're making. Uh, you know, I think. Need some help. I mean, would a part-time person help you if we got somebody on a part-time basis? I mean, just a mm -hmm. contractor for you know a few hours a day. I mean. Well, I mean, we. Stuff. If I we can get, you know, I mean, I've got a little buffer to bump Meredith up if we go over on hours and fires, and if we make it through the end of June, and I'm not over budget with where I have planned to be with her, then I'm probably going to bump her up a little bit in the third quarter on her hours. Um, you know, she's really not, if you look at her, her, uh, her hourly rate and no benefits and everything, um, you know, we, that's probably where we, we could make some adjustments. If you need oh, yeah. assistance, please say, okay. commissioners, come help me. Okay. We will. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to take a couple damn days because that class burned me out. <laughs> that's, uh, that was a lot of fun. Tourism so. has been on Tuesday, so. correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, okay. okay. All right. Any other questions for me? Thank you so much. Go for it. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to go camping tonight. Meredith's on call. I'll be back tomorrow. Cool. <laughs> no open fires. No. No open fires. <laughs> you do Not put on my wet more. Apparently, they don't care down there. No. Thanks. <laughs> so I did hear that that was a root that burned oh, through right. um, a stone fire ring, and, and the root oh, caught no and went under no, the really. I hadn't heard wow. that. Yeah. That happens. Wow. All, right. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for everything. Well, sir, how about we for the it department. move for the IT department? <laughs> You'll have to get used to that, I might, would imagine. Yeah, the witticisms Hello, just sir. flow from that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for agreeing to yeah. come in as a regular staff. Of course. Report. I think that's going to be one. good in the long run. There you go. I put together a little sir. report. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm.
and we'll get to this here in a little bit. So basically, um, as it outlines in the report, the last uh, five months have been an adventure, getting all of the, uh, getting everything straight, and learning the fun little labyrinth that is uh, Custer County IT. Mm-hmm. So it's been, a, it's been an adventure, and then the day-to-day stuff is, uh, is also a, a good experience. So it's been, <clears throat> it's been really neat working with everybody on, on a completely different level than I've had in the past. So. You caught up? I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there. Um, <clears throat> We're in the process of changing over all of the emails right now that are that are currently going to Chuck at Custer County Gov. All of the logins for everything from YouTube to um, the MSAG with the uh, tele- with the uh, Intrado 911 system. We'll buy some really quick. Sorry. The email is you're changing over to what? Um, either my personal email or I've created an ITJS email login so you're that not changing the emails that. No, 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 no. Okay. Not, 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 not people's individual emails. Sorry. No, no, no. Okay. Keep um, going. No. <laughs> I thought you were sorry. going to customcounty.gov. You know, as I would, opposed to customcounty.gov.com, which I always thought was a little weird, but and 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 typing out and having that, having to type that whole deal out, that's a very frustrating. So the real sometimes. issue is there's other Custer counties is why we can't do it. There are there are other Custer counties. Custercounty.gov. Um, and changing the so. CusterCountyGov.com was set up in the, um, in the in the in the Silver Age per se of IT in Custer County, and changing over that would involve changing over all of the uh, all of the web pages, and it would be a, it would be a big, big job. complicated process. Now it's not something that I'm not opposed to doing. It's not something that I am opposed to doing. Excuse me. Um, it is something that I, that we could consider just truncating that, creating a new. Uh, Creating a new host server if we need to, basically some place to store all of our data and all of our information exchanges. We just have to figure out a way to transfer all of the existing data into a new place if we did that. So it's not something I'm opposed to doing. If that's something we want to look at, it we is a project. Know what's available, do we? Custer County. I'll, I could take a look and uh, give a report next month about. I know it's uh, just for grins, just to okay. see what the options are. All right, we'll do. Well, then. How's the website going? All right. The, web, the website is going well. We do. We are doing the live streaming. I mentioned that in, in, in part of there. Um, I've got a an, an embedded code in your commissioner site where people can click and link to the uh, live stream event and also all of the archive data. Um, Brenda's been putting. Um, the audio recordings linked in there as well, so it's kind of a one-stop shop for either watching the uh, watching the archived live stream or going back to the old audio recordings as well, okay. as well as the minutes uh, once they're once they're approved. Right. Right? So it's all there. Um, I've created a web page for that keeps people updated on the tower project. Um, as we talked about, we uh, created a web page for the. Uh, one-stop shop for all the minutes for Custer County. Um, anyone, well, I'm sorry, not all of them, but everything that is actually flowing in here to, to us, um, people can access those in, anytime on the web. Yeah. So There was a, re- a question, a request, to see mm-hmm. if we could post the staff reports on that website as well. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary. I don't know how many staff re- physical reports we're going to get just because we have a staff report. Something, something like uh, this, or correct. Okay. Uh, I don't. I could create I a new. Know. I could create a new um, drop-down menu and say label it and create it as staff reports. Um, so, uh, but <laughs> I have a question about how many people have actually. Right. <laughs> That's if, the other question. If Jackie viewed this once, um, I can I can email them to her. It's not a problem. All she has to do is ask. Her. That might be the more um, that'd be a cleaner approach. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Like yeah I just uh, I I kind of question whether all of that needs to be 
okay. on that website. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes there's sensitive information. I don't know. <clears throat> but uh, I suppose if we had to do it, it's a possibility. Yes, it is a possibility. Okay. All right. It is definitely not not a not a big issue. Okay. Thank you. Um, I see you're looking at the last page of the. Oh, right. <laughs> went right for, went Cut right to, to the that. chase. Yes, exactly, exactly. So on the second page there, I do mention in a bullet point um, we're looking at a new telephone system for the uh, for the, the county building here. Um, we went through as as you may or may not know, or as our you know live audience may or may not know, um, the uh, the service tech for our phone system passed away, leaving us without any service for, the, for our phone systems. Um, Chuck and I attempted to do some in-depth study. We downloaded manuals. We did all sorts of work on it. There is literally um, literally hexadecimal interface with this old, old, uh, <laughs> with this old box downstairs in the basement. Um, it's, it's not serviceable at this point. We've even brought in outside techs to look at it. They just kind of throw their hands up. Um, Jason Livengood did um, really work hard to attempt to work with ESI, <clears throat> excuse me, ESI to, uh, to service that box, and they basically said no. Hmm. They, they are remarkably recalcitrant in, uh, in dealing with us. So he gave us a quote for a new system, and I've actually obtained three quotes for a phone system for the county. Uh, one was from Arrow for $22,000. One was from the folks that are putting in the uh, 911 system, and they're also doing a, a telephone system for the sheriff's office for $25,000. And this quote, which we have here, is for about 18.6. Um, Jason and his company Clover uh, Clover Technologies just got the uh, okay. Go ahead to do the phone system for the school with the exact same system that they're offering us for about 18.6. So. Um, Jason, like I said, he, 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 uh, he showed more interest than anybody else in actually working with us and making certain that we could get a phone system. When are they putting the school in? What's that? When are they doing the school? I believe they're doing that this summer. Um, are we ready to do it this summer too? Yes, we need to. Can you it, leverage the fact they're coming up here and to save even a few more bucks on this one or is it, did they do that when they... Uh, they did give us they did give us a good deal on that, uh, but I just I just barely found out about the school, so I don't know if we could we could uh, work Twist with that. Arm right, exactly. I don't know what, it, what it's worth. Um, on on one of the pages in there, I did actually show in the county budget that we budgeted for twenty five thousand dollars, and by coming in at eighteen six or eighteen or nineteen thousand, we're about six thousand dollars under. So, that so it's budgeted this year. It is budgeted. Correctly. Yes, it is budgeted. So it's covered. Yeah, it is covered. Um, and uh, it would cover all of our phones. It would replace all the, the existing phones. There would be a training period where they would, where his people would come in and show people how to use the new phone system. It is fully upgradable. The phones are. The phone systems nowadays are divided into two, two categories. One is the, the, the cloud-based and one is the server-based. Um, we are rejecting the cloud-based simply because... Not reliable. Right, exactly. I don't trust the cloud. <laughs> exactly. Uh, as, as we saw last week, we, uh, our, our telephone, our internet system, excuse me, was, was terrible. Um, with, uh, was, there were a lot of issues. There were a lot of problems last week. And so... Um, <clears throat> The, uh, is our internet coming in over Ccom or is it AT and T on there? No, we we use Ccom and CenturyLink, and okay. some people with cell phones will use uh, the AT and T. For instance, I just set up um, the sheriff's office is setting up a uh, remote counseling system with uh, Sol Vista, and we're running it off of the ATT for four uh, G wireless system, so that they can do remote counseling sessions and not be worried about whether or not we've got. Ccom or CenturyLink up in the valley, so that's um, so that is an option. Right now, we're using Ccom for our high speed work. Uh, this is being live streamed over Ccom. We're using CenturyLink as a backup and for our uh, ACS secure stuff. So, uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. Would you please just verify with Miss Hobby? Good morning. Good morning. 
then we have followed the procedures that are appropriate for putting out for bid and we met the county requirements for um, and, and he did he actually went over and above to, he tried to perfect. save the entire amount by getting someone who could fix it but it's just not feasible okay. and, and the if we select based on the recommendation this particular company to do this particular job we, we as a county have met our obligation to put it out for bid and do all the things they need. Okay, so you're comfortable with it. Absolutely. Thank you very much. That's and all I would love to have a new phone that I could actually put on hold and get off of There's, hold. We have talked about this you, ever <laughs> yeah. since I've been here. I was in the meeting earlier, and as I walked past uh, uh, DHS, um, she grabbed me and said the exact same thing. <laughs> she had just tried to put someone on hold that, that from Kentucky that was uh, now lost in the ether. So, I think Commissioner Camp brings up a really good point mm -hmm. about maybe, and I hate to use the word bundling when you talk about phones, but okay, maybe since they're already coming up working on one, mm -hmm. so it could be tied into their schedule. Okay, over. all right, know, I think that's an excellent point. I can uh, talk to Jason about that, and we can we can move forward. And if you guys would like to talk to Jason, I can bring him in. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he, like I said, he he above anybody else has actually put the effort into making this happen. So, so. let me ask you a question: Are mm -hmm. you asking us to approve this contract at this point? Sounds like you have gone through. I, oops. I'm yes, I am asking you to approve I don't know what it, and I'm need to know and I'm offering you <laughs> to I move offer we, more uh, uh, we accept it okay. and uh, let's go with that company and see what you can do about re uh, tying it together. Is that your okay. motion? Because yeah, I'm making I'll a motion. Second it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, just because uh, mm -hmm. when he wrote that up, he didn't know uh, that we were gonna, when we would be contracted. That's correct. Yes. And so yes. there's an opportunity to say even if it's 500 bucks, it's, it pays yeah. Brenda's. Um, slush fund. Okay. <laughs> Been moved and seconded to contract with Clover Technologies for a new phone system. Further discussion. Um, what timeline do you think? Uh, he said that. <clears throat> excuse me. He said that it would be about a month and a half to two months out on the tech. Um, installing it is going to be about a week. Um, question, if I may, mm -hmm. please. Um, will there be redundant so that phone service is not down while they're bringing the new one up? Yes, there will not be any downtime. We will, we, and he actually worked into the bid to actually rewire the boxes to make certain that everything's cleaner. And that's one thing that I didn't mention in there because that's we don't, point. we don't know. Yes, we actually we had a tech downstairs and he about threw up his hands in horror at the uh, condition of the, the the phone lines and he says, "I can't believe that we as CenturyLink have allowed this to happen." Is this going in just so, the courthouse or the jail too? Um, this is just this the courthouse. The, the jail, it, they have their own, they, they actually worked that into their yeah, uh, 911 budget. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, the, also, there, there's two more things that I uh, was going to mention about this phone system is that it's scalable. So in the future, if we move or if we do something bigger, we can scale it up. Uh, the, the, it's the exact same phone system as the uh, school, and as you know, it's, it's a much larger entity that... Um, for phone wise. The other thing is we are going to be bundling telephone numbers, putting them together into the into the data lines and such. So we are going to be saving money. I, we don't know exactly how much, unfortunately, until we actually get into the nitty gritty of it. We won't be knowing how much, but we will be saving money. Yes, ma'am. Um, two questions. Mm -hmm. Did you mention training? Yes, there's going because to be training on it. That, the old phones were supposed to be so great and have all these things, but uh -huh. they never trained us, and they and the little book ones weren't worth. No, they were not. No, <laughs> you could And then my That's second correct. question is: at one point, um, they talked about um, the whole deal with a machine answering everybody's mm -hmm. lines, and you know, if you want this person, press this. Is it going to be that, or is? There, there's a lot of functionality in that, and we can set it up so that your if somebody dials your phone number, it rings directly to your phone. We can set it up so that if somebody dials what needs to speak to somebody in the clerk's office, it will it could go to a PBX, uh, public, uh, um, what is PBX? Uh, basically an exchange. 
Um, <clears throat> so we can set it, there's a lot of versatility. We can set it either way. But we could still answer it. Absolutely, yes. Because I, yes. I get that. And that was part of, that was part of the functionality. We, we specifically talked about DHS having um, a hotline numbers that, uh, that people need to call for um, confidential uh, reporting and whatnot. So that is a functionality in there, and so we can set it up so that your phone drink, rings directly to your desk nowhere else, or we can set it up so that people say, dial one for the commissioners, dial two for the clerk, dial three for HR, that type of deal. Uh, we, also, we also included the fax lines in there. We have four fax numbers that, we, uh, that need to be included as well. So, so I see there's 18, 12... Uh, button phones and, tw and eight twenty-four button phones. Is that correct? Uh, there's actually more than that. There are some included in the system. Oh, okay. uh, there are actually um, seven forty-eight button phones and twenty-eight twenty-four button phones and four analog phones we have in the building, and all of those will be met by that quote, okay. as well as. Um, two extras of the small phones and one extra of the large phone for any time they uh, they malfunction and there is a warranty that goes with that it's in the data packet so they lay in line so that if, you, if we modify a room when we modify rooms here uh -huh. they can add the phones into separate cubicles or whatever we, we could do that yeah okay. because it's all actually off of an add numbers data and so we can we can run so the phones are set up as a uh, basically computer interfaces right. with the server downstairs. So we can run another line over and the, the phones will be set up individually. And yeah. we could take any or all of this system to a new building if that ever came to pass? Yes, indeed. You know, I had that was part of the also. conditions. <laughs> yes, I had sir. that question also, but then I thought uh -huh. to myself, well, we built a new system. You're still going to need phones here, so I decided yeah. I'm not going to ask it. But yeah. I thought that, that question also. Yeah. Now, that is an interesting question because it leads into another part is that uh, um, when you actually look at all of the phones in the county, um, <clears throat> there is a possibility of taking and putting a remote system down at Roden Bridge and having them be on a PBX where if, they call, if somebody called the county itself, they could dial five for Roden Bridge and it would go to Roden Bridge. And then we wouldn't be paying for, and that's a, that's a cheaper price, and then we wouldn't be paying for four lines, two fax machines, and a DSL line over there. I'm very comfortable that you yeah. did your research, you did your homework. You did your homework. <laughs> I'm trying to. I know you. I'm very comfortable. When you oh, said, you. I asked you the one question, do you recommend this? You said yes. I'm, I'm done. done. Okay, <laughs> thank you. And you guys have already voted. I don't know why I'm going for the hard no. sell here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't vote. oh I'm, so, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. You made the motion. You made the motion. Excuse me. Okay. In the period of discussion, uh, yes. any further discussion, Commissioner? No. Public comment? Hearing none, we will proceed to vote. All in favor of hiring Clover, purchasing a package from Clover Technologies for the phone system. Say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Good job. Another Thank twenty-five you grand. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So Good the new job. system has a split on DSL between Seacom and CenturyLink too. Um, the new system will be will be actually be run off of phone lines, so it will be CenturyLink. And now, um, another point in there in the future projects that I put down was uh, fiber connectivity or um, high-speed copper, which um, we've talked about uh, because the state is doing this. Uh, we need, this is one of my big issues, is the connectivity and communications issues. So we're going to look, be looking for more secure, more stable communications. Right. CenturyLink is more stable, CECOM is faster, but CenturyLink has some new options now with new technologies that will allow us to be both stable and faster. So right. we're going to be exploring that. Um, but like I said, the phone system runs off of the phones. It's not, uh, not internet-based. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Great. Thanks. Good job. Good. Well, thank Get you out of here. Much. Okay, I'm done then. Right. Well, thanks, I'm going with him. Good job. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> thank you. Very good. You appreciate okay, it. Good thank you, sir. Yeah, you can. Thank you, sir. Everything looks okay to me. Okay, appreciate it. She's going to be a while. Thank you, Let's Jason. Take a break if possible. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Uh, Miss Hobby, you all right with us taking about a five minute break, three minute break? That's why I'm sitting that all down these two minutes. Okay, we're back. Call the meeting back to order.
uh, 2.43 p.m. Welcome. Donna's back. How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Bearing gifts. Oh, yeah. And uh, a quick recap to save you from reading forever. Uh, right now we could be at 42%. Our expenditures are at 40. The revenues are at 39. So we're just cruising. Like we're right on track. Yeah. So we're. If we could just reverse the thickness of these two documents, well, our revenue would be a lot. Yeah. Funny how that works. A lot works. thicker than the. Yeah. 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 Well, good. Any. Anybody way out there as far as, I know we don't want to No, you know, really everything is just, it's just normal. Um, you know, um, sometimes maybe people bought, um, you know, a set of books or something that's good for the whole year that, and so that item would never, ever have another expense. But everybody seems to be right on track. Good. And I heard you all talking about um, the airport, you know, the revenues and different things. In 2017, somebody out there had actually left a donation, so I had set up a line. Well, you already have a line. Yeah, that, oh, cool. because it was that Dallas was thrilled that somebody had, they'd said thanks for the great you know place out oh, here. Oh, yeah, and, I remember hearing about that. Yeah, and so we've set that up, and so it would be just real so easy to drop it in there. And then that's in, in, that is in Virginia's office? It's all money needs by law has to go through, by yeah. statute has to be deposited, and then when it goes on her ledger, I pull it out and, right. and put the journal entry into the... So, so what do they have to deposit it as when they give it to... Ordinarily, to, everybody's treasure, really explicit. They, uh, a grant, they'll say, you know, this is grant to 33.33950. Mm -hmm. uh, well, in like, this case, we will tell the uh, ranch to make the check out to the treasurer and put a note for airport. Yep, airport. Sorry, and that way, and, and, and maybe airport donation, and then I would know that donation okay. would go right into that. All right. So then when they... Um, when they pay a bill out of there, do we need to do that like a transfer? Nope, it'll be right it'll in be the right fund, there. just like their um, fuel the fund. fund. Um, the only thing we might do is probably make another line item uh, for, uh, you know, runway uh, improvement. improvement or something along that line that just sure. so we could segregate it to, mm -hmm. to just ease That'd be good. on there. So we're already halfway there. Mm -hmm. You know, money's always welcome, so I'm more than happy yeah. to make extra revenue yeah. lines. <laughs> always add a line for more money, you know? Good. I am currently working on the budget, trying to get the numbers in so that I can maybe see what we'll have coming back, um, but it's arduous. Yeah, and I wondered about having what kind of documentation we either need or should have when we meet with Well, I, I am trying to get a preliminary, and I don't, I mean, I have worked really hard on it, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to have it completely done. But I, I would like to be able to give you guys a number that says out of the 163 that we've already picked up 100,000 of it. But I, I don't know if I'm, I'm trying, but it is, I have to, physically move every number from 2018 to 2017 to the actual and then do estimates based on where we are. Based upon these numbers, we're not going to pick up anything with the with I mean at 42 percent and we're at 40 and 39 but running right you know, on the, yeah but we're running right okay. on schedule so um, looking at this report that we got I guess it was from Jackie Harvey. Um, looks like housing permits have, dwelling permits have, are pretty high. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but I'm going to suspect maybe our revenues will be up a little bit next year. Well, and that's one of those things, too. You know, it's always yeah, it's our weather. Point. You know, our weather. If, if they right. have a longer, you know, we building have a season. short growing season, but a longer building season. Landfill, if people stay longer, they keep using the landfill. Yep. Um, you know, it's just... You know, it's the best guess at yep. the time. But everything, you know, so far so good. So, uh, do you need a motion to accept the uh, financials for uh, Mark Hall, the business of May, right? 
Good D and D and have we been doing that? I know we have, but it's ordinarily we don't need if, a if we were here on the first or second, these are still a week out I, because I have to do handwritten's and, and yeah, balance out mine the and then move to John's and yeah, these are just just updates. Yeah, just the updates towards the ending goal of there. Okay, good. All right, more okay. figures. I know, just more abacuses. All right. I told you I'd be fast. Thank you are you. fast. I like it. When you have to wait longer than you present, it's crime. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bummer. <laughs> you know, I always had that philosophy. If it took longer to cook than it took to eat, it's Oh, amen, like a pie. Yeah. A pie <laughs> is the worst one. Eight hours to make, two That's hours right. to see it gone. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Okay. Uh, next item of business is the uh, reviewing the IGA uh, for the Warfano County and Custer County weed position. Partnership, huh? I think we have that in hard copy uh, as well as electronic. Yeah, I read it. Let's see here. Thought we were signing off on that, but no. I don't. I don't have the hard copy. Oh. I bet she can print it. But if we are going to sign off on it, hey, go! I got a hard copy just for you. Stinker. You don't have that in your. I don't. In your so. sign here. I, I thought I saw it, but maybe. Uh, I thought I only had the quick claim. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. there you go. You can sign that. One. And I don't get any. What did I see on the weeds? Okay. Do you want a sign here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so thankful that it wasn't already in my packet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I like it. Oh, Lord. That's right. Oh my gosh. Um, so the. Uh, IGA with Werfano County uh, to utilize their uh, weed manager slash sprayer because he is one and the same and we had talked about trying to get to there for us as well to that point of having one person do both uh, although I know Roger Squire is willing and capable of helping serve as our weed manager from Kim so uh, I would move that we approve the IGA between Custer County and Werfano County for the Weed Management Board. I agree. I'll second it. We moved and seconded to approve the IGA. So the hard weed. Copy of it. Uh, weed. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. So what data are we putting on here? Is that up uh, to them to put it on there? I would guess probably today. Mm -hmm. uh, discussion? Um, the other kind of thing, um, I read it, I thought it was a, a very good uh, agreement. Did you, you reviewed it, of course, right? Yes, I did. Or write it? No, I didn't write it. Okay. That's good. I thought it was a good agreement. Okay. Yeah, I did not write it. I revised it. Okay. Uh, and then sent it out. So... Uh, I certainly can't take credit for writing it, <laughs> as you probably already knew that. Um, further discussion? Hearing none, we'll proceed to the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Uh, I will sign said agreement. Those guys, I think, are going to be really good to work with down there. Those You're commissioners in Arsenal County are... This is Burns. Uh, Oh, we no, I can't get it back to Top left, ma'am. Okay. Bottom left is for your cohort and oh, okay. working on. Okay, road vacate for Cole King, a follow up on uh, Let me get the, the item uh, that Miss Hobby brought to us before. We approved that. The, both parties were here, and uh, then they were instructed to file uh, all the necessary documents. They, this is an attempt to finish up that. So that's kind of where we're at. We'll 
We got the Wait, survey and description of the land from uh, the county surveyor. Yes. yes. So What's what Jackie bringing over? She's coming over to present this a little more formally. I don't know why they call it a road vacation. I mean, is the road going to Disneyland or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And while we're waiting for Jackie, I got a request through the mail um, about another road vacate. I sent it over to Jackie to let her review that before we ever got involved in it directly. And it's for a request to vacate a road that just real quick is signified here in red. But according to a note from Jackie, if we were to allow that, we would landlock that uh, mm -hmm. parcel right there. So she certainly recommended not to Where vacate that, that road. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's, it's in Rosita. Yeah. It's Acapulco Gold is the landowner. Yeah, it's Rosita. Um, it's a marijuana. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah, I didn't know I'll that. You no, was. I didn't know that. Yeah, I guarantee you it was. It was the, that and Hawaiian whatever was, yeah. was the big mucky muck. So anyway, I we may come back to this uh, at a board meeting. Uh, Why they want to vacate it? Did it say? Oh, let's see it's, here. It's they one of like their the parcels wants too, I think, so. Yeah. Yeah, they wanted to get in a battle. Jackie, sit down in the throne. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I will bring that up. I'll, I haven't had a chance to visit with Mrs. Hobby about that, but I will, and then if necessary, I'll bring it back to the board. Ouch. It, uh, did you not see my comment? I did see your comment. Thank you. It doesn't meet with any of our requirements. All right. So, Jackie and I can handle that. Can't land water. water. If you're all right, Dad, or deny it on your own. I don't need to see it if it's. I think it was sent to him. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, so, no, I it's just a don't no. think we need an action on it if it's landlocking someone. I mean, that's it's the decision locked. is taken. Uh -huh. We can drive you right across it. I mean, if, even if you vacated it, you still give them an easement to that parcel. That would be a one way of handling it. True, but you already have a road already going to road, it. So yeah. It's already a right away. Yeah. You would you make vacate it and put it in. So it's no longer a public road. I just did not hit it. It's easier. <laughs> <laughs> it was the look. So that works? If you give him one of those looks, he just... He's married. <laughs> I'll have to practice that. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hi. How are you? Good. Uh, resolution to vacate for King and Cole, which we've already really done. This is a follow-up on the documentation. Correct. Correct. And Mr. Cole asked me to come represent him. He was working, and I have no problem. Usually we do them in our zoning meetings anyway. Uh, I would uh, imagine that if you do the resolution and then you do the deed from the county to King and Cole, I would prefer that instead of giving the clerk's office the paperwork to um, be recorded at this time to hold off until I get the deeds to Mr. Cole and, and Mr. Mrs. Miss King's property and then we'd, we'd all re-record them at the same time because I find that if we don't sometimes the scraggle will always be a scraggle and it's just left out there in the breeze. So the, are you wanting to wait because they're going to record the deeds? They're going to record their new deeds. Yeah, you're. I mean, you. We deliver the deeds to them. We're conveying to them. We deliver. It's up to them, and they don't record it. But it's a county deed, and we've always just recorded them, and we don't charge. As long as the county is grantor or grantee, we don't charge. So correct. But they had to do a new legal on theirs. They had to take. Oh, I their, thought their new legal was on the from the county. Too. I thought it just incorporated. Let me look at this again. But wouldn't their new deeds, wouldn't we have a resolution, then you're just conveying as a county a portion of the said road, which is what? Oh, we already Trailing. To do this. Trailing. We didn't make another resolution, did we? No. We never did a resolution because we decided that, I got set minutes here. You decided to do it, you just didn't do it right. officially. Okay. The legal description actually incorporates 
the parcel they already had, lot one, block ten, plus the east half. Mm -hmm. So this is a legal description. So they don't have to do new deeds. Um, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. Like on a normal vacation, like on a, but if it, if it incorporates it into this, then that's just the same, isn't it? Well, I incorporated this as the legal description. Oh. And the legal description, what? I know what she's saying. They need to, after these deeds, they need to do a quick thing from them first. to them. Okay. I see what so, so what are we doing today, So Jackie? let's start with, start first over. of all, we need a resolution. Then we'll need a deed conveying the property that the county owns, that road. Half of it, to which we had, because we asked Mr. Cole to get a description of it. So we don't so, have that yet. Yeah, the yes, deed. that's... that's this is the resolution. Well, it's in mine don't the have attachments. Top. Parcel A, parcel B. And a quick claim. Did you see the attachments? That's what you emailed to us. You're talking about two quick claim deeds. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if I'm Mr. Cole and Mrs. King, I need to take my property deed and make a quick claim Go deed in my name so that I get that to other include. deed out of it. Right. Right? Yeah, actually, this the county is quick claiming something it doesn't really own us when it conveys lot one, block ten. The county doesn't own that. It's just get the legal description, put it all together as one parcel. So what they need to do is just use the same legal description, but they should do their own quick claim deed from themselves mm -hmm. to themselves. And you know, really, before when we've done that other quick claim deed from the person to the person, it's to deed the lot. But in this case, the count you um, did you do the so the resolution does the vacation right, and the new description is within that deed, so that should that deed should take care of it. But, but that it deed doesn't that. really it doesn't. This description puts it all together as one parcel: the lot they had plus the half the road they're right. getting. But the county doesn't have the authority to deed the lot. You know, it's a quick claim they saying do. we're just giving up whatever interest we've got. So that's why I'm asking. Yeah. So they need to use the same legal and do a quick claim deed to themselves. You bet. Because this is what has happened many times. A lot of roads back in the beginning of time were vacated in Rosita and our surrounding areas because they were never built and they went to nowhere. So what would happen is there would be a resolution and we give half the road to the property owner and the other half to another property owner. But they never followed through. So then uh, we did a huge resolution once that included tons of roads, but I have all these little lots that are, and they come back and I can catch them, that they vacated the road but the person never took title to it or deed to it. Explain this to me, because I'm missing something here. We own the two lots. No, we own a road. We own a right-of-way over a, a road. A right-of-way. What is it we're actually deeding to these two? And I, I'm looking at I'm looking at Kip's um, survey. So we're not. Pause. <coughs> We don't own the road, we, hit, we own the right of way, and we're, and we're, just, we're giving right up whatever away. interest we've got in it. And okay, they, it. they, they and still own really it. I understand it's what we're doing. We're doing. We're that's that's, all, we're doing. We're doing. that's all we're doing. We're giving up our interest in that right and then of way. Gonna, then they're going to they do the action. They already own the land, but, you know. That's right, it's theirs already. Yeah, they're just getting rid of the right of way. So we just need to make sure that they know that they need to do something. They do know. They need to do something to their deed in order so it doesn't show the right away anymore. No, I gave Mr. Cole instructions and he's got a blank deed to get ready to do Perfect. his deeds. Yeah. Okay. And the good um, deed. He just doesn't have them right away. Huh? So why I'm asking this is because uh, also too the recording has to be done in a sequence. Can't record the deeds without the resolution and right. you have to do it because the sequence will just be as detrimental and to messing up this also. So what I'm asking is I don't care if you record the resolution, but I do care if you record those deeds because if Mr. Cole or Ms. King does not follow through, 
Then we got this hanging out in nowhere land. Are they going to bring those deeds to you? Yes. So maybe you can hang on to the two well, deeds. Saying, we'll give you the quick claim deeds and you can hold on to them. And then File they can them bring together. them all over at the same time. That's what I would prefer. I like and then I usually number them with little sticky tabs. As to what order you want them recorded? Uh -huh. Because if so I like you, you I'll put the right numbers on. And a quick claim deed. Please. Uh, I'll move that the uh, commissioners enter into resolution number 18-10. A resolution vacating a public right-of-way over and across a portion of Trade Road in Custer County. Uh, I'll second. And I think we'll deal with the quick claim deeds separately, That's don't right. you? Uh, yeah, okay. you vote on this, then yeah. you can vote on the quick claim. We've been seconded uh, to uh, sign resolution 18-10, uh, vacating a, a public right-of-way. Discussion? Hearing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Uh, group's pleasure on the quick claim deeds. So we uh, we have to we have to have a vote on the quick claim yes. deeds. So I would move that we uh, affect the two quick claim deeds as described. To Patty King. To Patty King Sorry. and to Kelly Cole and Sherry Cole. I'll second it. We move and second it to sign the quick claim deeds to the Coles and the Kings. Uh, discussion? Hearing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion I will vote aye as well. Opposed nay. Motion carries. You don't have to. You Tongue got faster than my. You didn't put it out for public comment. No, I didn't. Let me look around. <laughs> that was Cheryl Cole. That's what we said. Shelly. Cheryl. 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 -E yeah, it's Cheryl Cole. Right, S-H-E-R-Y-S. S-H-E-R. I'm looking at Kelly. I had Sherry and I had Shelly. Yeah. So if you have any nice of the two quick claims, I'll go ahead and record the resolution. That would be great. Then. You got anything else to entertain us with? No, I put your um, report in your boxes. Ah, uh, your dwelling and I stuff. I was impressed that it looked like we had a lot more permits for dwellings in the first few months of this year than we have in the past. Well, we haven't had since 2012. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to go uh, We haven't. Sign, you, bring them in? you know, no, you can expect a certain lull, yeah. but we haven't hit the lull like we usually do. So yeah, no, I don't know if it was because we had a mild winter or what, but we're doing really well. Good. People are and then usually most of the stuff I just handle to the county attorney. Great. Um, if that's a, you get copies of the letters when I get a stack. Have you given any more thought to your fee schedule, i.e., increasing your zone or your permit fees? Every January is when we look over the fee schedule. It's, it's been like that, doesn't mean that it has to be like that. Uh, I thought that last time when we were in Wetmore, we decided to maybe revisit it in October during the budget time. Okay. Did we just say that? Uh -huh. And I do think we are a little bit low. I do have a huge problem that I would like to discuss. Um, whenever there's an iffy thing, and I'm iffy in my office like, um, a variance or something, or an SUP. I used to be that an SUP was 500 bucks. You just gave $500. Well, then I found out that it was, um, sometimes people wouldn't even go through the, they'd go through the presentation, but they wouldn't go through mm -hmm. the rest. So we split it in 300 and 200. If you wanted to continue, then you just paid the $200. Well, here's the problem now. I have a variance that is coming up that I am very unsure of. Uh, I've already deposited the check. The gentleman's going to need to bring back some paperwork that probably will cost a little bit of money. He might weigh the situation and decide, uh -huh, and but it's gonna cost him probably a little bit of money to get out of this and we're gonna have to keep moving forward. Even if he says no to the variance, I will have to pursue this because it's been brought to my attention. But what I'm saying is if he says no, 
we don't give refunds and I've already deposited his check I put it on hold and then I took it off hold and deposited it. if I give that gentleman a written check for the three hundred dollars it comes out of my budget where the where the deposit go general fund yes so I have twelve hundred dollars in my budget and I just lost three hundred dollars for trying to help accommodate a citizen well I don't say you would have lost it now that you've brought it to the daylight I don't think it's lost I think it's easy for the commissioner to say oh okay got it so we're gonna credit your account at three hundred dollars that's what I would like to hear or we could say thank you for well, we could and then fun. use that on commissioner <laughs> travel. I, I'm perfectly fine getting the money back. I have no issue with that back to budget. The question I'm asking, you said we don't give refunds, and then you said you want to give this guy a refund. Why? What's the deal? Uh, we don't give refunds. We usually give you credit. Okay. But on a variance, um, a lot of times um, public will come in and they'll say, I want this. Type. Well, let's just do this, a setback variance. Let's just say a public person will come in and say, I can't meet my 50-foot setbacks. Then I say, okay, it's $300 to ask BZA for a setback variance. But after I start doing the work on it, I find that there's no way you're going to, in this particular instance, until you clean up the parcel that you're asking for, you're going to get a setback. Get a uh -huh. Get a variance you're out of compliance and I can't keep letting you come back out or father out. So then I feel that the time I have involved is probably two hours. Okay, I take that as a normal day of research and stuff. I would like to give, if the gentleman decides to stop right now, the $300 back. But there is no way in the way that we do our system that I can ever refund anyone any money because then the three hundred dollars comes off of my budget. That's really I'm not sure. I'm, maybe I didn't ask the question right. You said we don't give refunds, but you want to give this guy a refund. What's special about him? Okay, so uh, what's special is. Sometimes I feel that um, equity you need to do it just to be fair and right. Just to be fair and right. I don't have an issue with that. Because a lot of times people don't understand what they're getting into or what. Or the possible. zoning they have, and it's because it's a lot of little pieces to zoning that. So he paid his money up front in good faith that he could. Didn't understand do what he had to do. Now it's it. a big quagmire. I can't get anywhere anymore needs to quit. So what criteria do you use when to give it a refund and when not to give a refund? I usually give her, try to give a refund when I feel that... Um, it was no fault of their own? Correct. Got it. Okay. And I, I gave one a couple that. years ago I gave, no, it was probably three years ago, I won and that was uh, come out of my budget. So Not saying that I don't have enough money right. in my budget to cover right. it. I Let's do. say you did that five times. That could eat up a bunch of your budget if it never comes back. To and see, I guess I don't understand it. The three hundred dollars was paid. It goes into the general fund, and then to give it back, even if I would go have Virginia write me a three hundred dollar check, then you it debit your your ticket. Mm -hmm. I got it. So, stop having your conscience. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, I'm just concerned about if there's an inequity, one person says, well, I got a refund from Jack, and the other one goes, well, she doesn't like me, so I didn't get the refund. Oh, I, Do you I, know what I'm saying? No, I I'm agree. I'm concerned about that. Uh-huh. So uh, it's more on the heavy ticket items. Uh, not a, if you get a building permit and you uh, pay too much, usually you'll say, Credit my account because I'm going to build a bar. Okay, I have no issue there. Uh -huh. It's usually on the heavy hitters like the variances and the SUPs that are three to five hundred dollars right up front. Mm -hmm. And I can put it on hold, and I put it on hold, then I took it off a of hold. As long as you're equitable with everybody, regardless of who the person is, 
I'm fine. It, consistency is the key to this, in my opinion. Oh, I agree totally. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh -huh. Okay. What does Mr. Smith think? He thinks I'm crazy for even bringing it up. He's thinking it's almost quarter after three, and he yeah, wants to go home. Ready. You know, I'm I'm ready. Ready. I have more work to do. You know, I it's. I mean, it's a judgment call on your part, as far as I'm concerned. And like I said, your conscience is, you know, when you start, your budget starts dwindling down, then maybe you aren't, you know, if it's a close it's just, call, you're not going to give their money back. Uh -huh. I think I would like to see something where I can give refunds. That's not what you were asking for. Is that what you were asking? I was getting there. <laughs> is that a county policy that we don't do that? Or is it just been a historical thing that we don't do that? Or is we don't do it because it causes this budgetary problem? I think it, we must not do it because it causes a budget. But I think it's just a process issue with the person, with the finance guys. So, you know, I would have been differently. I think if, if Jackie puts two hours worth of work into a guy's private. I don't mean a guy, a, a, project. a citizen's project, and then they pull it off, pull out of it because they change their mind or whatever, I think there should be a penalty for Right, and that's what she says she does, unless for the same, the circumstances were that he had no clue or, or he couldn't do it, it's Why don't you fair. Have them sign something when they come in, non, -re non refundable. I do tell them. Okay. But maybe that would be. I think it's on our. I think it's on that, our that things too. can come up either if whether they change their mind about pursuing it or whether you can't. They're not going to get what they're seeking. There's no refund. Just put but how many times does it happen? Hundred times a year or, or once every five this years. This is the second one. Second one. What this year or in your no. lifetime? Ever. Ten. Ten. So that's not a big deal. I no, it's not. Good. Okay. So. We don't need to waste well, I think you're just making the board no aware of the fact that right. your budget's going to show a deficit because you And I was making so the board aware that I would appreciate the $300 right. back and in I, my I budget. Think, I think I'm we all over. agreed. Okay. How I come, move. I'm sorry. How come your refunds work different than like a refund in my office? I, it didn't come out of my. I don't write a check. For Maybe it. you ought to go talk to. to, to <laughs> oh my gosh, see? See, so they're not treating you fair. No. You you can write a Just refund. Saying. I don't write a refund. I go to Virginia. And she writes me a refund. And where does the refund money come from? That's well, it balances out. You know, it, it when it, I mean, it balances out somewhere, but it doesn't, it doesn't come out of my budget. budget. Okay, I, I move that we ask the treasurer to um, move from the general fund three hundred dollars into uh, the planning and zoning budget. To cover the refund that came out of the budget. If it, when I do. If you haven't done it yet. Oh, I thought you already did it. We might ask If them. you decide to do it, I think it should be. Why don't you just, some game we don't even need money. a resolution if you just go talk to Donna and say, make sure it goes back into your account. Or it's Virginia. Well, for yeah, it has Virginia. If we're going to move out of a we fund, we have to do it as a resolution. Well, I don't know. I don't know that it, well, why it depends would, on where they deposit. Why the wouldn't my refunds be the same as her refund? See, her refund came back to her mm -hmm. budget line. I don't know why her refund can't come back to her budget line. Am I being the treated different? Well, yes, there's no, yeah. no problem with being treated differently. Okay, here's what if I would treat it unfairly, then we let me issue. let me talk to Virginia, Virginia and yeah, maybe track yeah. My thank you, sir. Yeah, we don't need to. And move then we'll it. go go figure it out to it and, and figure out if we do need to move it by motion because you moving from one foot to another does it does motion. require it. But if it's not necessary, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I will And throw. take Kelly as a witness. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, <laughs> a, I'll here's throw, how you do it. I'll my, throw my Kelly budget. underneath the bus. Yeah, Bye, guys. I might be all washed up. You may lose some money. I, think, I might. <laughs> she might as well put herself, set herself up, and she was. Thank you, Mr. Shy. How are you, sir? Okay, you're the only thing keeping us from a beer. Well, I've gotten between people and their beers before. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say that. Right. Next item of business discussion about 800 radios. Well, kind of. It started out. Sort of make it hurts and not the number. Yeah. Uh, yeah I was gonna say, how many radios do you want? I want 800 radios to be done. <laughs> Is this like a walker? Two kids? I wish I could. I crowded them good. out. You don't have much room. Um, just kind of report on the situation. What I 
when I originally set this time up, I, we were short of 800 radios, which is a good thing because we've got five new volunteers to the department that are, we're running through our system. And of course, if we don't have stuff to equip them, that's a good problem. But countywide, we're having we're short on the 800 megahertz radios. And I just talked to Cindy. You guys have talked to Cindy already today. Um, it's an issue. We're gonna we're not getting any more state funding. It seems like for that, we're not getting much help with grants. For radios and they're way out there, you know, if we do, um, you guys all have them, right? And you're trained to use them? No. Nope. Okay. We're, we're sort of advised on how to use them. <laughs> See, that's part of it, too, is yeah. that...